Have any of you ever eaten at Burger King? Murmurs are still being heard. BK fans keep chattering. Here are 10 canceled Burger King items that people still talk about. Oh, I love Burger King, don't you? Funnel cake sticks. This funnel cake is delicious. Fast food companies love to push their luck, and Burger King was no different with the unveiling of their funnel cake sticks. It seemed that the king and his court were now determined to conquer carnival fare. It was an idea that certain companies had some degree of success with in the past, and this famous burger shop decided they wanted a piece of the action. Funnel cake sticks were released in 2009 with the marketing line Hot Crispy Funnel Cake Goodness, fried sweet to crispy perfection and topped off with powdered sugar. What's not to love about fair food from a fast food chain? Perfection. Well, a lot of things apparently. The funnel cake sticks were released to mixed reviews. Certain customers appreciated this foray dessert option, but most found the sticks to be kind of bland. Each order came with a dipping cup of icing, and without this added topping, most people agreed that the funnel cake sticks were lackluster to say the least. Burger King limits the amount of sweetness on their menu, so it remains to be seen if these niche dessert sticks will make a comeback. But something tells us that there aren't too many people upset about their disappearance. Let's leave our fair food for the yearly carnival. The Angry Whopper That's like a big whopper. Released in 2008 to take advantage of the buzz surrounding the Incredible Hulk movie, a rather angry character himself, this furious fast food burger leapt onto menus to the surprise of spicy food lovers everywhere. The Angry Whopper took everything that people loved about the normal Whopper and made it spicy. Two hands were definitely required for this mammoth of a burger, which contained a flame broiled patty, melted American cheese, thick cut bacon, tomatoes, lettuce, creamy mayo, jalapenos, and angry sauce. To top that off, why not throw in some spicy fried onion petals? When the sandwich was first released, it even came complete with a vibrant red bun to warn would be diners that this sandwich was not for the faint of heart. Well, I'm brave. Spice lovers everywhere rejoiced that they finally had a burger that catered to their taste. For the average person, however, this burger was too spicy. It didn't take long for Burger King to offer an alternative to the hot sauce infused bun, to offer a slight reprieve to less spice prone palates. The Angry Whopper ran for nearly eight years before it was yanked from Burger King menus in North America in 2016. It performed a victory lap in April of 2019, but has since disappeared from stores without a trace. There is no shortage of unique burgers on the menu when you go to dine with the King, but the Angry Whopper was something truly special. Here's hoping we'll get to see it one more time. Burger shots. Have you had your shots? Shots? What shots? When it comes to sliders in the fast food industry, most people think of White Castle as the reigning champion. Little do people know that there was actually a time in Burger King history when they attempted to recreate the success of their competitor. Enter the burger shots. They were little more than miniature versions of Burger King's original burger style, topped with nothing aside from a pickle slice. If you wanted to fork over some extra change, you could get these humble burger shots topped with cheese. Because cheese should always be an option, right? These little morsels were sold in two and six pack increments and were initially intriguing to customers. After trying Burger King's rendition of a slider, customers realized that the fast food chain hadn't actually captured anything special. It's nothing special, believe me. Nor did they outmatch their opponent, White Castle. Once word from the people spread, Burger King was quick to discontinue the strange menu item. After digging a little deeper, it was found that this was not the first time Burger King had attempted the slider shuffle. Apparently, they had tried a similar product under the name Burger King Bundles, and it was much the same style of slider as the burger shots. It didn't work then, and it wasn't working this time either. They chose instead to fall back on their established burgers and haven't been seen wandering into slider territory in recent memory. Maybe these little burgers will perform an encore at some point in time, but as of right now, if you're in the mood for sliders, White Castle is still the place to go. Bacon Sunday. Do I smell bacon? Bacon? Well. It's salty, it's sweet. It's a testament to the notion that if something can exist, then it must. Meet the Bacon Sunday. It consists of vanilla ice cream, fudge, caramel drizzle, and of course, bacon. Reviewers of this strange creation claimed that each bite was full of bacon. Not only did the bacon impart a smoky flavor to the entire sundae, it also provided the ice cream with a salty crunch that people went crazy for. Some higher-end publications found the menu item to be excessive and wondered if the Burger Monarch had lost its crown. That didn't stop customers from developing a taste for it, though. 
it's actually pretty good. The bacon sundae rode a wave of sales until suddenly it disappeared from the menu altogether. It appeared as though Burger King had walked the tightrope of our taste buds. By delivering a product that had managed such delicious contrast, most people agree that this was a hit for the chain. When you want a little savory in your dessert, or you're just a true bacon lover, you can do no wrong. Perhaps we'll see this on Burger King menus in the future. No one knows for sure. In the meantime, seeing as how there aren't many ingredients to this sugary sensation, we see no reason you couldn't try making this fast food favorite at home. Shake em up fries. I want fries. Fries for this guy. The early 2000s saw a bit of a renaissance for fast food marketing. The commercials were louder, flashier, and if you could tie in a massive media blitz into, say, promoting a blockbuster film, then you'll see surefire sales at your cash registers. Although this next item wasn't promoting a movie, Burger King was quick to promote it as part of their Big Kids Meal, a rival to McDonald's famous Happy Meal. We're talking, of course, about the fabled Shake 'em Up Fries. While the advertising would have you believe this was some stunning fast food creation, these were just ordinary Burger King fries, sold in a separate bag with one caveat. Each order came with a bag of cheese powder, which you would pour into the bag and then shake. Come on, kiddo, shake them up. Not many people can remember the taste of shake em up fries as they were targeted at a generation that didn't have much of a critical voice. The idea was a bit of a novelty, but that didn't stop kids everywhere from clamoring for the fries. Even though it was a simple case of flavor over substance, the marketing had done its job. Shake em up fries were a quick seller, especially when paired with the big kids meal. Like many fast food stories, this one ended with a quick drop in sales. It appeared as though the trend was over, and Burger King was forced to remove them from the menu. It remains to be seen if we'll ever get a chance to try these simple yet nostalgic French fry alternatives. Grilled Dogs My famous grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. It's true that this next item is often talked about in fast food history, but unfortunately, it's for all the wrong reasons. Burger King's hot dogs were put on the menu in February 2016 and marketed as grilled dogs. They were allegedly created using 100% beef and came in two varieties, classic and chili cheese. Not many people ventured out to try this strange creation, but those who did said there was very little to celebrate. Some claimed that these were outlandish excuses for hot dogs and that Burger King should stay firmly planted in their own wheelhouse. Just be yourself. It didn't take long for demand to die out completely, and these strange hot dogs were ousted from the menu in 2017. Maybe a burger chain should try and stick to what it does best. We don't know, sell burgers? While it's true that sometimes risks are rewarded in business, this is one example of a gamble not paying off. If you roll the dice too many times, even a chain like Burger King is not immune to the snake eyes of the fast food market. We're not sure why Burger King would ever want to resurrect this ghoul of an item from its fast food grave, but we'll keep a crucifix handy if Burger King grill dogs ever rise from the crypt. Crown-shaped nuggets. Chicken nuggets, you were sure were human nuggets. Honestly, who doesn't love a nugget? Fast food chains all over the world have them on their menus, and it's abundantly clear that they are a customer favorite. But what do people, especially kids, love more than a chicken nugget? Well, chicken nuggets in wacky shapes, of course. Burger King saw that children were a very large portion of their sales, and as a result, created this culinary icon with them in mind. Crown-shaped chicken nuggets were often paired in the marketing campaign with the aforementioned Big Kids Meal, putting these nuggets in the hands of people who wanted them most. You really, really, really want it? Yes. There was honestly very little else that was special about these nuggets, except that, of course, they came in little crown shapes, unlike the originals. We won't say that the shape had anything to do with taste, but that didn't stop the nuggets from rising in popularity with kids everywhere. It turns out that all you need for success sometimes is just a change in shape. People aren't sure why these ever disappeared from the Burger King menus, but there is a very small yet vocal crowd who demands their return. Does eating something in crown shape make it tastier? Who knows? How about fancier? We'll let you be the judge of that if these nuggets ever do show their face again. Cine Minis I even got minis for the midget. Chances are you've seen or heard about this fabled creation before. Cine Minis were created by Burger King as a ploy to fill two voids found on their menu, dessert and breakfast. Burger King spent time collaborating with Pillsbury, who were already the undisputed masters of pastry. In 1998, Cine Minis were released to the public. Initially, people couldn't get enough of these tasty treats, and Cine Minis became a staple on the menu for many years, until the early 2000s, when they were eventually discontinued. 
In 2018, Grubhub attempted to partner with the burger chain in order to bring them back by offering a free order of Cine Minis with every delivery that was over $10. I've got a plan. This turned out to be a public relations nightmare, as logistics and supply quickly overshadowed what good intentions Grubhub had in trying to offer them to the public. Very few customers ever received their free order of Cine Minis, and it would appear as though this would be the last nail in the coffin for these fast food cinnamon rolls. Since that fateful marketing campaign, there's been no word from the higher-ups about when to expect Cine Minis back, but plenty of people still hold a candle, hoping that day comes sooner rather than later. Mac and Cheetos. Cheetos and chopsticks? Yes! There are few things that consumers love more than a good food mashup. Sometimes, when two of your favorite products come together, they can create a product that is greater than the sum of its parts. The next creation on our list is just such an experiment. Burger King's Mac and Cheetos were released in June 2016 and applauded for its inventive nature. To put it simply, this is little more than deep-fried macaroni. However, when paired with the taste of Cheetos, which lent their secret formula from their cheesy snacks, you had a match made in heaven. They were meant for each other! The Mac and Cheetos would disappear and reappear on menus over the course of a few years, before all would go silent on the fried macaroni front. Burger King pulled the menu item from their stores and no mention of Mac and Cheetos has been heard recently. While it's true that sometimes food collaborations can create some of the best culinary delights, maybe this was an instance of the fad just fading away and wearing off. No one knows for sure, but Burger King fans are still talking about this item to this day. So the Mac and Cheetos must have done something right along the way. Fiery Chicken Fries Yes, with a fiery vengeance. Yes, you heard us right. For years now, Burger King has had chicken fries on the menu as a replacement for the default for the nugget shape. They've garnered such a cult following that after disappearing from the menu for years, fast foodies were able to bargain for their return to menus. It wasn't until 2015 that the spicy cousin of the chicken fries would be offered to customers. But it took no time at all for them to establish a name for themselves as well. My reputation precedes me. In fact, over a quarter of taste testers in product development said that they would be too spicy for the average person. These fiery chicken fries were made with black and cayenne pepper, along with a secret blend of other spices, and came with your choice of dipping sauce to quench the flames. Sometimes adding a spicy iteration to a customer favorite can be detrimental to both the original and the hot variant, but that wasn't the case here. Some people even argued that the spicy had the original beat hands down. We can't comment on this, but it was largely agreed that they were not a cheap knockoff of the original product.